Cops say Lorgi Bautista enjoys hiking, but the 38-year-old has vanished without a trace. This morning, her family and friends made the five-and-a-half-hour journey from Mandra to the search zone at Bluff Knoll. They make no mention of any accommodation, so presumably she's driven the five hours from her family to, if we look here, to start her walk at, um, at 4 a.m. Police have revealed no one actually saw Lorgi heading out at Bluff Knoll. Well, of course, that's an unusually early start for a bushwalker to still be dark I don't know how she can see where she's going but they did say at the start they said she liked hiking and presumably they would that so it was but it would obviously include her, her husband Anand. Hikers are advised to sign in at this visitor register at the peak's entrance but Lord G. Bautista didn't. Now they said she liked bushwalking they didn't necessarily say she was an experienced hiker I mean you could like something without being good at it I would have thought an experienced hiker would have probably have signed this book so people at least know, especially at 4am, know that she left at 4am. They'd, you know, sort of know that she's been there, but he didn't, uh, apparently he just got out of the car, started walking. Husband of a woman who vanished near Bluff Knoll says he's holding out hope she will be found alive. Well, that's good that he's holding out hope because th this has been the search so far. A total of 50 police and SES volunteers scoured Bluff Knoll. A drone and thermal imaging equipment was also deployed, but still no sign of Lorgi Bautista. Well, that's how long these two were, were missing for. Uh, yeah, even though they're only going for a, a day trip, they had four days worth of food with them, and they were very experienced, hence they looked entirely unscathed. Whereas they don't mention how much food Lorgi took with her. I mean, that information would come from... Her husband, I mean, said she likes bushwalking. Did she just go by herself? Did he? Did she tell him? He doesn't seem to have that much information. Anyway, it's been four days, but he's holding out hope, though. He's holding out hope. How are you feeling, Armin? It's very sad. Yeah. I'm so me and my daughter, we're so dying to see her. Hope they'll find her today. She's found. Yes, that's uh, what I'm all. All I'm hoping for. Are you still confident that they will find her? Yes, of course. I have a feeling that still she's still alive. Well, Armin, as you can understand, is feeling a bit down and a bit forlorn. But, you know, let's just hope that there's a feel-good story at the end of this one. Um, well, hang on a minute. That's not Armin. Oh, I'm not sure what happened there. I've got files all over the place. Just something's gone wrong with the editing there. Anyway, we're back to Armin now. And, yeah, um, well, you know, Lorgi is probably the one we should really be concerned about. I mean, you know. Armin's upset, but Lorty's the one that, uh, you know, if it's not a good feel-good story, you know, she's the one that's, um, I can't help myself. God, he's a fucking prick.